So I've had at the job site a few days ago. This is the power washer I'm using, or pressure washer, whatever. Um, I had a problem where the uh, the bottom part of this was blowing off. Basically, the, these three bolts were shearing off. Um, these are the stock bolts, and they're 10.9s in strength. So in an emergency, I ran to the auto parts, and that's all I could find. And I got these in, finished the job, and then these blew out. Uh, so what we're doing is uh, tapping these out of here. Um, these are clean right now, and i got to clean this all up. And what I think, I don't know, the pressure got set maybe a little bit too high or something. Um, this is the... This is part of the pump, and uh, I've got newer, newer bolts to put in. These are a lot stronger. I think what are they? Twelve point eight or twelve point nine. Uh, so we'll be cleaning everything up and reinstalling, and then I think I'm going to set this back. This might have gotten turned. I don't know why, but uh, that could be the reason for there's way too much pressure happening here. All right, we have a situation here. I got these two out. One was, both of them were easy. This one was a pain. And then I got the easy out in there and broke it. And, uh, you know, that metal's harder. And, uh, I've been drilling and drilling and drilling. <clears throat> I even brought it over to my friend's house, who's a machinist, and he didn't want to touch it. He didn't have enough time for, uh, Maybe more complicated ways to do this. Um, so I've already ordered another pump. And this is the, uh, oh, we got it upside down. The 308653045. Um, it's a fairly common pump that I find around. Now the one cool thing I did get to figure out is how this, how this pump works and I think I might even break it down further and take these out and see how everything works in here and then reassemble it anyways just to learn uh, how this how this works 85 90 weight oil that's what it says here on the, on the label but this is what happened I believe somehow this got turned up no, I didn't do that and it popped these bolts I've used this for a couple of years now without any problem it just sheared these right off, man. And I tried to re reinstall, and, and I got other bolts to put in, and they weren't long enough. Um, so this, the top, what happens is, what happens is it breaks, and then all the water starts shooting out there. And what we have is these little discs put right on here there's three of them and they just pull off and there's a seal right here there's a there's a another seal right there and a seal and that's what it looks like when it's reinstalled also in the middle of this there's an o-ring that goes in there too I'll just take these off because we're taking this off next Okay, this is loaded under spring tension, so, you know, crisscross your way of taking this off and holding it down a bit with your hand. Uh, it, did, it didn't fly into the air or anything like that. This is what we got inside. And here's the oil. Looks like it should be changed. So that's how you'd change your oil, I guess. Um, this is down about that far. There was a teeny bit leaking out from the seal on the other side. Uh, put it back the way it was. Yeah, I remember that was there. That's how it went together, and the label's right here. And that flat spot's over here. Because these are a little off. Um, to take it off the motor, just unbolt, I put a couple screws on the desk just to hold it for torquing. Uh, it just slides off the shaft and with a key in the center. Uh, just take your time and just pry it loose. There's no special thing about it. 
We'll take this off and set to the side. Oops. So we got there. Oh, there's these. Uh, there's these little circle washers on the other side of this. Um, so they're, they're really thin. So don't lose them. And what's in the middle here? So the pump. Oh, that might be why it was. All right. So that's what we got on this pump. Okay, so I drain the oil, and it's just uh, inside. This is on the shaft that goes to the motor, the ball bearing, and a plate. And the springs just ride around on that and make pressure in here. Uh, to fix that broken uh, broken one that's in there, you might be able to cut this off and get it from this side and just use like, uh, maybe just take this, yeah, just cut this piece off and then be able to put it back on with some, uh, what do you call that, cold weld stuff and, uh, and then rebuild it. I'll give it a shot. There's the I'm trying to get a shot of this. I'm just cutting it off with a little bit. It's almost almost through. These little things are cool man, they're real portable. It's just 12 volt lithium. Um, you can put the bigger blades in it too. So here we go, we're gonna take that off and see if we can get in there. So this little machining bit works really well. I'm able to get a pretty good hole down in there now. All my other bits are crap. I mean, they all need to be sharpened or something. Um, and I'm not, I don't have a drill press or anything like that. So this is all just make do in the shop with what you got. I got this tip out of, a, I probably wrecked it, but I got it out of a dumpster probably seven years ago. Never used it. Um, a lot of this stuff I've just collected over time, you know, people don't want it. Sure, garage sale. I think I just picked these up for 50 cents. I mean, they're not bad. And same with these little guys. I mean, they're pretty cool. Um, and we're going to try to make this work. I think it's going to happen. So I get back to the old broken easy out on the other side. And I'm getting it. I went ahead and bought one of those square ones, I don't like them. But I do want, I think, a stronger metal. Here we go. It's on the end, the end is broken on here. Cool. So I'm saving this little piece, man. It's going right up here. Everybody wonder, how, why the heck are you saving that? Oh, it was a little bit of a battle at the end. I had a chunk still in, in this, and it looks, you can tell it was a battle. Um, <clears throat> we've got enough threads, threads I threaded through the hardened steel bolt I have to put in here, and all, and all, all of them, and uh, threads all the way through. Now it needs to really be cleaned. Some brake cleaner, just to start. Well, we gotta clean everything now. This usually works pretty darn good. Same with the oil in the oil area. Okay, you want to have everything really clean. I'm not even done with this. There's a little towel in there, but all the little...